Hello YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk a little bit about how to increase your XP and get the most out of your score challenges or the legendary run. Um, there's a lot of, I see a lot of posts on Reddit and, and people just new to the game. This is really for newcomers that um, you have just joined and trying to understand how to maximize uh, your, your, your boosts um, to get the best out of it. So I'm going to not get into it too much, but I'm going to talk a little bit about what I do at a very minimum. And I think that's what people should be doing um, at the very least um, to try and maximize that. Um, and then I'm going to jump to a Reddit post. Someone actually made a Reddit post. And I'll try to do my best to remember to post that in uh, the description of the video and I'll cover sort of at a very brief and high level what he's recommending there's a lot of stuff and a lot of boost there's a lot of food um, mutations things like that that you can uh, use to try and boost your intelligence um, there's food buffs things like that I mean for me um, I don't want to spend a lot of time you know crafting stuff I actually do cranberry relish and I find that a tedious task on its own it's not too tedious it's, it's, it's not too bad if you start you use super duper and uh, there's a few ingredients like sugar and cranberries and gold um, so you have to grow gold or, or go get your access to it. that's probably the hardest ingredient to get your hands on uh, consistently unless you have a farm that just does gold um, so one of my one of my characters I set up um as a shelter and uh, a farm above ground i have a very small camp above ground with the minimum vendors and stuff and then i grow about 16 to 20 gold uh, but that's not realistic for a lot of camps so most of my camps have about two or three gold um, at the most and and sometimes you just can't get enough of it uh, but anyway let, let, let's go into it again this video is for newcomers to the game people just just want to understand you know at a, at a high level how to increase your boosts um, to get the maximum score uh, out of the game and your XP, right? So, so let me let me talk about what what I do, right? At a minimum. So the first thing you'll notice on my effects list. So the, the first thing is always keep an eye on your effects. If you're going to do something like this, you always got to keep an eye on your effects and make sure that you always have these effects loaded. And the two that I always look for are the well rested uh, gives you a five percent boost, and then cranberry relish. Now you can do cranberry cobbler. Uh, as well, Cranberry Cobbler, I think, gives you 5% um, at minimum. Very easy to make. You just need, I believe, some some water and cranberries. Very easy to get. You just go up to Aranholt Farm or you go to, to the bog. Uh, you can't use diseased cranberries. You have to have uh, proper cranberries to do that. But as you notice, and again, this is going to be, be dependent on your intelligence. So for cranberry relish, you can notice I get 25% boost. Now, if you have a low intelligence, um, just keep that in mind. You might see only 10% there, but still 10% is better than 5%, and 5% is better than nothing, right? So make sure you at least do cranberry cobbler uh, to get the to get. Get, get the cranberry relish recipe. It's a little tricky. You can find them at players' vendors. If you see them, grab them. Um, and then, of course, you have to serve a hop at White Springs at the chef's. There is a, a, a vendor there that sells them, but I haven't seen it being very consistent. It's kind of tricky to get hold of that, that recipe. Uh, you can get them, I believe, from events as well. So try to get your hands on that. That's definitely the better one to go, I prefer relish over a cobbler because it lasts an hour. So you only have to have one one relish. Um, but then again, you know, cobbler lasts, uh, you, you can make them twice as fast, but you only get 5%, right? So, of course, the percentage, depending on your boosts, on your intelligence, gives you a much more higher percentage there, right? Um, the second thing, or the third thing, is make sure that you have your intelligence perk, right? Um, so at the, again, newcomers, one of the first things you should probably do when you, you get into the game is make sure you have this perk card and max it up to level three as quick as possible. Um, some people will share these in, in public teams uh, if you get lucky, if you are very low level, uh, but try and get that, get that as quick as possible leveled up. Uh, it's generally available right off the bat. Uh, you can pick it as your first card when I create a new character. That's the one I pick. I pick Inspirational as number one card there, right? Um, so make sure you do that. Uh, the other one that you want to eventually get, this is this is more later in the game, uh, is Stranger Numbers. Again, you want to make sure that you get that because, uh, you know, people that have mutations, 
you get that 25% boost. Uh, uh, again, that might play a role in the Cranberry Relish somewhat, um, but it's more likely the, the herbivore mutation. But again, all of these are kind of interconnected. Um, so, so try and get stranger numbers as soon as possible. And then, of course, Class Freak is another one that you want to get. Again, you know, some of my characters just don't have these cards and they, they're above, I think, they're even level 50. And they st I still don't have these dropped yet. But most people should get them fairly as soon as you get to level, I think, 30 or so. Um, but anyway, as soon as they become available to you, get them, keep them loaded, because it's going to help with the, those boosts, right? Um, so I think offhand there are obviously other things. We'll go go over the the, the that post that I'm gonna uh, talk about in a minute. Uh, there's things about uh, unyielding armor. Uh, yeah, let me, let me talk a little bit about intelligence as well. Like I said, um, try get your intelligence up to to a reasonable level. I generally have mine around ten in terms of intelligence. Yeah, but with all the boosts and stuff, um, let's take a quick look here at some of the other things. Yeah, uh, in terms of um, specials yeah you can see my intelligence is plus 25 right so you can get that there's various things you can do and we'll talk a little bit about that but uh, try and get your intelligence as high as possible because you know that's going to help with your um, the amount of XP and your score that you're going to ultimately get right um, in terms of public teams always join a public team try and get you know four people on a team or at least two I think at the minimum, uh, I think even if you did it solo, it's better. I mean, you don't get that max, but there are some, I think there are some mutations like Herbivore that still, uh, I, I can't, I'm not going to talk about that because I just don't know the facts or fans. Uh, you, you probably want to watch uh, Angry, Angry Turtles videos or, or you know, someone's uh, videos on exactly, you know, if that works or not. But try getting a public team all the time, always playing a public team. Don't worry, you don't have to play with the people in the team. I've seen posts where, oh, you know, I don't want to join a public team because, you know, I don't want to go and feel that I have to go and play with them, right? You don't have to. I mean, I pretty much ignore, uh, you know, people in my team. Um, in the, On the rare case, I might, you know, they might call you over to help or something. But in general, I find it more annoying just to try and find where they are on the map. There's no real easy way to spot people on the map and stuff, right? So, um um, and then lastly, I think in terms of mutations, um, as soon as you, you can, I mean, you can certainly get mutations at under level 30. Uh, just bear in mind, if you don't have the starch genes, um, there is a starch gene perk, which is this guy here. Um, basically, what, what this guy does is it stops you from losing those mutations. If you're under 30 or you don't have this card, and you use right away, you will lose your muta mutations, right, uh, unfortunately. So try get starch genes, get it loaded as soon as you can. And the reason is you want to keep your mutations. And the reason is uh, mutations like Egghead uh, give you that additional um, intelligence. There you go, plus 8 intelligence. Now I'm getting plus 8 because I have uh, the class freak loaded as well. So keep that in mind. If you don't have class freak, you'll probably get less. Uh, so all of those kind of, like I said, are interconnected and make a difference uh, overall. Uh, so you kind of want to have stranger numbers, class freak, the intelligent perks, uh, you know, things like that, uh, plus mutations and stuff, right? So uh, herbivore, again, uh, is, is you can choose between herbivore or carnivore, but herbivore, the reason why this is, is more important, I think, uh, in terms of if you're doing the cranberry relish, is because you get that added bonus, right? Uh, your your benefits for eating vegetables double, right? So which then of course boosts your cranberry relish, and you get that bonus XP. So keep that in mind if you're choosing carnivore. There's probably something um, if if it's not cranberry relish, there's probably some meat, and we'll get into that uh, in terms of some of the boosts and meat if you prefer to do the carnivore route. Um, that's up to you, right? Um, so the, the the three I think that are important here is egghead. Uh, herbivore and then herd mentality uh, again you know you get your, your special points around that uh, so those are the three mutations that will assist towards your score and your challenges and your XP in general and you know in general overall you know when you are doing your, your score challenges uh, just remember the XP is, is really guided towards um, your weekly challenge, which is your repeatable. So the more XP you get, the more times this will get kicked off. 
I think this the, the original uh, guesstimate around this was, uh, you know, you could probably do this like 16 times, you get a 1600 additional score, and you know, again, depends if you want to get through the, the legendary run quicker, depends when you start the legendary run, all of this will ultimately help. Um, if you start at the beginning of the legendary run, you really don't have to go too crazy with the score challenges. You don't have to do op daily operations every day. You don't have to do level ups every day. People kind of, oh, I've got to do everything. Uh, I do recommend doing the others. I do recommend trying to get uh, the five score uh, in, your, in terms of daily. Try to get your five, five out of five. Uh, sometimes this does mean doing nuclear win winter challenges. Most of the winter nuclear winter challenges are really easy. A lot of people maybe stray away from or don't like to get into nuclear winter. Really, you just hide in the bush most of the time. Um, you know, sometimes you just build a camp. Sometimes you just have to kill yourself. You grab a stim pack and, you know, you just uh, jump in the fire and you kill yourself. So a lot of them are pretty easy. Uh, there's some that you can't really easily do, which are like kill another player. If you're not really a nuclear winter player like myself, um, you know, some of those, for me, it's easy because I have two, two Xboxes, two characters. So it's very easy for me to do that challenge. But most people that solo won't be able to do that easily. But there are some others like, you know, killing yourself, using a stim pack, um, sorry, using a stim pack and then killing yourself, uh, you know, building a camp. And then, you know, staying in nuclear winter for 10 minutes, you just hide in a bush. Um, very easy. You just put yourself into that circle as soon as it shows up and you just sit there. You don't have to actually move from that spot. Uh, at all, at all, it'll be ten minutes. Uh, which, thank goodness, they 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 made it ten minutes uh, from the fifteen that they used to be, right? So, uh, it's a little tedious, but it it's doable if you want those additional two hundred fifty points, right? So, anyway, so finally, let let's look at this person's article, and like I said, I'll try and post this in the video for for you guys. Um, uh, let's quickly go over it. I'm not gonna. Uh, it's not my guide. It's his guide. Uh, it's by a redditor. His, his username on Reddit is BLK and WHT Lion. Uh, so credits go to him, uh, like I said. But let's quickly just walk through this. And like I said, a lot of the stuff for me is too tedious or just doesn't, is not applicable. Uh, but of course, you know, uh, let's, 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 let's walk through it. So he's got the overview there. We won't, we'll skip that. We'll go to the loadout. Um, so he's talking about permanent buffs like equipment and specials. So again, we, we went over some of the some of the perks here, but again, of course, intelligence uh, perks, things like that. Um, but he also recommends, just, just like I mentioned earlier, try to get your intelligence up to as high as possible. He says there's no known limit. So for me, I have 25, but I've definitely seen players with, with 45 or higher, and, and especially, right? Uh, the one that jumps out at me straight away, because I'm a Power Armor user, is you can put a database mod, uh, internal database mod, it's actually cheap to buy the plan at the vendors. I think it's only like 300 caps or so, and you can just put it on your helmet and you get a plus two intelligence, right? So depending on what you have, just remember you can only put one mod at a time. So if you're having something, I think I have uh, the one where the enemies like stand out in red, uh, I forget what that's called. But anyway, then, then, you know, that will remove that mod and put that one. But again, you get plus two, which again, increases your XP if you need it, right? So very easy to do and it's a no brainer. You don't even have to think about it. For those that aren't power armor people, uh, you can get some unyielding gear and then you get additional intelligence. Uh, just remember, if you are a power armor user, none of these really make effect because it, you get, uh, it removes uh, this gear once you get into power armor. So you, you're either a power armor player or you're not. Uh, and then depending on that, you should use the gear to give you additional intelligence, right? Um, pretty straightforward. Uh, mutations, uh, public teams, like I said, herd mentality is one. Uh, you must have four XP grinders. It gives you the plus two, plus three with strange in numbers. So again, you know, additional benefits when you have those perks working with each other. Um, you've got egghead plus six int uh, with plus plus eight uh, with, the, with the sin perk, whatever that sin perk is. So I think what he's referring to there. Um, Strange in numbers, I guess, right? Would be that one. Uh, Herbie Ball and Carnivore food buffs. Okay, again, we'll talk about that in a little bit. I've spoken about Herbie Ball already with Cranberry Relish. Perks Inspirational, that's a must. I think that's a no-brainer for most people. But again, new newcomers might not uh, understand the value of that perk. So again, make sure you get that to level three as soon as possible, right? Um, and again, it doesn't stack, which means, you know, if you have two players with sharing that perk, you're not going to get uh, six. Uh, so it gives you that 15 or, you know, 
I guess if one, I'm, I'm assuming if you have one at 5% or one star and one at two star, it will stack, right? But Okay, stranger numbers, 25% buff to mutations at boost. So again, very important. Another one that's, that's useful, especially for new players, because sometimes, um, you know, you can get the night person perk, uh, gives you that plus three intelligence where some of the other perks aren't available yet. So that's a good alternative. And it's a good one if you have additional room um, in your in your in your in your in your perk stack there right uh, to use that. That is, uh, it's, um, I'll jump back there in a second, but um, doesn't matter anyway. So it's called the night per and uh, night night person one. It's a second category. I forget whether it's um, offhand. Okay, the chem friend perk and berry uh, friend optional for berry mentats. To again, berry mentats uh, will probably give you the additional. You got the biocom mesh liner uh, public team. So again, mention this is should be a no brainer, just like the intelligent perk. Casual teams, try and get a full team if you can. I found a lot of a lot of people kicking people from teams, which is very frustrating. You know, if you're one of those guys that kick people, I just I just shake my head at, at people like that. I mean, it's if you wanna if you wanna invite your friends, you know, I just create a new team. Don't kick people off the team. That's just lame. Uh, I'm totally against that. I'd never kick people off the team unless you know they are, um, you know, uh, being silly and stupid, right? I, I not don't say I don't. There are definitely reasons. Like you know, if you show up and start killing all the enemies in my location, I'll probably kick you because you know it's just lame again as well just you know the map's big enough go find it but anyway uh just just go create a new team and then yeah uh what what uh, my point here is generally i just create i don't even bother anymore i just create my own team i add my second character and i let people join and i never kick them i do my best not to kick them right so you know um yeah it's just unfortunate people do do a lot of kicking of teams or at least 10 15 percent of people do that it's just childish right Okay, so moving on, definitely create a public team, join a public team, try to get a full main team you can, because that's going to maximize that in for you, right? Um, in terms of consumables, uh, again, uh, yes, yes, has a carnival boost, uh, tasty squirrel. Um, but as he mentioned, yeah, doing tasty squirrels too, you get that 10% XP. Um, but farming salt and squirrel is time consuming. So I find that the same with cranberry relish. In a way, it's probably easier than getting squirrels, I guess. Uh, it's just some things just not worth it, in my opinion. It just takes up too much time. But again, if you are doing the carnival, uh, you might need to do that. And of course, the broiled scorch beef brain. Again, you've got to farm scorch beasts. So again, if that's what you do and you have a build that you can kill scorch beasts fairly easy, then that's fine. That's why I find maybe for me herbivore um, is easier you know getting cranberries sugar and, and gold are relatively easy I have made a video to find gold fairly easy and again just grow them at your farm uh, they are out there quite easy to obtain uh, it's just going to collect them and then of course along the river on the, on the left side of the map uh, you get a ton of um, snap tail reed which is easy to make sugar so I just go and farm a bunch make a farm make sure you've got super duper on so you maximize the amount of relish you create or anything that you craft right so there you go cranberry relish 10% xp plus 20% plus 25% with strange in numbers so that's probably when that 25% is coming in again they're interconnected making sure that you have those perks if you want to get the maximum xp right Okay, so it's got your berry mentats, so plus five percent int. Um, I haven't actually looked how hard it is to create berry mentats, um, but uh, again, it depends on what I, sh I should go take a look. See if I've even got that plan. I should probably have it, but and again, if you have the the chem, there's a chem per card which will uh, double uh, the the lasting effect of your chem so you probably want to have that as well but again you know we're probably limited in that category uh, how much you can have um, in that in I think it's endurance you'll need um, I think you need plus three if you want the three the three star or if it is a three star I forget um, whether you need that um, that perk to double double the use of chems but again maybe just because they don't tend generally chems don't generally last that long um, so sometimes I think it's 20-25 minutes right which isn't a long time okay added lunch boxes again I see a lot of people using those uh, okay purchase in groups blah 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 
Okay, uh, little bubble he bubble heads again. Personally, I don't use my bubble heads. I never have, but again, if you have those, then then it's going to increase. Uh, so again, little bubble heads are probably quite difficult to find. They are available. They are around there, and you might be able to buy them at player vendors if you want to go that route. So again, to me, this is like you just can do so much, and if you try to do them all, it's just going to take a more time than it's worth. I think in in the thing. Uh, the other big thing I mentioned earlier is that the beginning of the game is well rested. So make sure that you do the well rested um, at least. Uh, you're going to rest every sort of one, one and a half hours. If you die, you got to re-rest, unfortunately. You lose that benefit, which kind of sucks. And of course, I think um, I think if you um, rom have a romantic relationship with your ally, you that actually lasts two and a half hours. I've never actually gone that far myself. I've been meaning to want to do that and try to get through that. Uh, but... Um, I'm trying to think if you have to finish all the quests for the ally to get that far. I think you probably do, right? Okay, the path to enlightenment. Uh, of course, public event plus 5% XP. So again, the event doesn't run too often, but if you do see it running, jump in there, go, and uh, you know at the end, you go go and uh, commune with uh, um, the Mothman, and you get the 5%, I think, for an hour, hour and a half, somewhere there, I think, right? Okay, so he talks a little bit about farming, farming consumables and cookouts. I'm not going to get too much into that. Uh, like I said, I'll post this link in in my description, and then um, then you can uh, go and read this in depth by yourself. Okay, Barry Mantis plus five percent radio collectron, craft them starlight berries. Uh, so it sounds like you're going to need starlight berries, which isn't too difficult to find. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll take a quick look here, see if we can, I think I'm at a chem station, let's see if I can actually even, even uh, make them, uh, if, if anything I would with this character. Okay, Brain Fungus, Mentax, Ray Collection, XP, Time, Location, General Steakhouse, Location Tagging, um, I guess he's just additional XP. Also, just as a note, uh, the gold, there's three gold near the Steakhouse, I've got a video on that. But there's three gold right near the general steakhouse, uh, just for reference. Okay, again, I'm not going to talk. There's nothing here that I'm going to really talk about. So, so there you go, guys. Um, uh, at minimum, sleep. Um, take cranberry relish or cobbler. Uh, get those mutations. Get those perks. Intelligence perks. Uh, the class freak. Um, the strange in numbers. Try to get those as soon as possible. Try and get those mutations. Egghead. Uh, herbivore. Um, and um, uh, what was the other one there? Uh, oh, I just got kicked, I think. And that's at least the minimum that you should be doing uh, to try and try and increase your scoring. Um, okay, let's see if we can get back in here quickly, and I'll try and see if I can make Berry Mentats and see how tedious it is to make, because that might be worthwhile doing as well. Come on. Okay, I should be at uh, the Morgan Town Sky. Yeah, at uh, I was going to say Sky Station. Yeah, let's see if I can go make these quick. Um, I should have the plan, would be my guess. Uh, we think it's under chem drugs, right? 
Actually, I don't. I mean, um, so yeah, I, I don't know where you get that plan. Um, great mentats. Anything here that boosts your intelligence. No one gives you plus two. So mentats in general, and again, it's like two minutes. So yeah, to me, I, I bet you berry mentats is probably going to be the same. Um, let me check healing. I don't think I'll be under that. Yeah, I don't have it. And this, this would be the character I would have it on. It's probably been the longest in the game, right? Um, so just want to quickly go. I just want to show you where that night time perk is. So it's under perception. You should have a... Hey, I might even have it. I don't think I do. Okay, let's go to intelligence. So yeah, so night person, so this is the one that, uh, you know, you can get up to three stars, yeah, so again, uh, if you have the room and you don't have stranger numbers, and um, so again, obviously this only works at night, between night time and a lot of time the game is at night time, so it's probably worthwhile having for low level characters, uh, if you have some additional room, uh, yeah, but get that, that intelligence perk uh, first in charisma. Uh, and then, you know, if you have some room, just get this and just keep it there for now or temporary. Uh, the other one I mentioned was under um, endurance. And most people don't tend to have a lot of endurance, but if you've got at least one, I guess, let's see if we can find it. Yeah, uh, there is a chem perk. So if you are going to go the route with sort of berry mentats, I don't see it offhand, so let's see. Uh, uh, and it's called chem friend, yeah, right? So again, you can get up to level three. Um, so again, any any chems you take last 30% longer. So uh, again, if you are using chems, uh, it might be worthwhile sharing this um, in the group. Uh, that's something to consider. So again, um, at least do the other ones and then you can use these as a final resort and you can decide what other ones you want. There's a lot of ones you can do and then you don't have to spend a lot of time like the mutations and stranger numbers and intelligence. They, I mean, you don't, once you've created them or got them, then you don't have to deal with them or maintain them. They're there, they work. Uh, the only thing that I find myself doing is creating Cranberry Relish. But again, if you have Super Duper and you make, say, 10 of them, and again, uh, uh, the other one I should mention, which might not be obvious to newcomers, is get uh, good with salts um, as soon as you can, at least get level two. Uh, this lasts pretty long. I mean, I, I generally it'll last two, three days uh, with two, with level two. I don't think you really need more than two. I've seen people with three, and some people say it lasts like a week, right? Uh, but again, you're not going to be making, you're not going to be able to make that many, that much in terms of relish. Uh, but yeah, you want to get at least good assault. So again, these are one of those new perks that people should just have in general, right? So. Anyway, thank you for watching and I apologize for the video being so long. Hopefully you found that useful. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And please go ahead and hit the like button if you did find the video useful at all. Thanks very much. Enjoy your day. And Happy New Year.